Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tour or bucket spigot plugin tour. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to subscribe on because I do these every week. If you suggest on one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in Jibble as well. I will give you a shout out when I get around to it. And if you find this videos helpful, please like as it helps me out for helping you out. Now I'm going over Essentials X. It's been almost four years since I've reviewed Essentials and I did a couple follow-up videos for Essentials because Essentials is a huge plugin. Essentials in like encapsulates everything of a server. You got your kits, economy, band, mute, messaging, spawners, AFK, chat formatting, mail, warps, home. Uh, there's a lot more like help menus, list menus, custom menu, uh, like language menus, all that stuff. Um, so we're actually going to be splitting up. I think it's four or five videos. So be sure links will be in the jibbles for the other videos coming out at about the same time. Otherwise they're on the screen right now. Before you go forward and click all of these a couple things, you need to have vault to format the chat prefix and suffixes. Um, and you need Java seven plus, and then also essentials comes in one jar, but then there's a few supporting jar files that you need to put in your plugins folder. So you have your base one, and then you'll, you're going to want at least chat and spawn. And then you might also want protect on top of that. Um, I would highly recommend not getting anti build in there just because it can cause issues, especially if you have another plugin that is doing world management, like uh, anti uh, or grief prevention or uh, factions or world guard or anything like that. Um, it's great. Now, Essentials X, there's a few uh, improvements over the, the default essentials. You have a create kit command, so you can actually do create kit and then tutorial and then a delay of 10 seconds. So it's actually gonna create that and it actually posts it and you just basically copy and paste that in your config file, reload the configuration, and then you're off and running. You can also then do a show, uh, show kit tools and it's gonna show you everything that's in that kit, which is pretty cool. And then it also allows for you to do commands in your kit, which is great. And uh, you'll see all of that stuff in the kit tutorial. Uh, link is in the jibbles. Also, if you have spawners or you're starting, if you're giving your players spawners, it will, it won't default to the pig spawners, which is fantastic. If it is still, then you're going to want to give your players essentials dot spawn convert dot star. And then, um, there's some message disabling stuff that we'll go over in the messaging chat formatting tutorial. So for this one, um, we're going to talk about the economy, which is kind of the base of it. So with this, you have slash money or slash balance, and then that keeps track of how much money you have. Um, you also, if you have an admin and have the proper permissions, essentials.eco, you can then do give uh, cause of Christ 100 bucks. Or instead of the username, you can do star, and then it's going to give everybody on the server a hundred bucks. Or if you do star star, it's gonna be online and offline users are gonna get a hundred bucks, um, which is pretty cool. If they have essentials.eco.loan, then they can get, have negative balances, which is pretty sweet. And then if they have essentials.balance.others, they can then check the balance of other players. But basically for the pay, you're gonna need essentials.pay to pay another player. So you do pay uh, username 100, which is me, sends it back to myself. And then you need essentials dot balance in order to check that balance. So uh, that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, there's some other commands in there with um, you got your warp commands in here. Uh, so there's no warps listed. You have your home command, but you okay. So I guess it's going to go to that home. And then you have a mail command to check your mails, and then a message. Uh, so then you put your username and then hi of whoever you want to, and then you can. Uh, do slash R to reply. So that's pretty much it. Let's review the config real quick and then be sure I go over the kits, the admin commands, all that stuff more in depth. Link is in the jibbles to all those tutorials as well as on the screen earlier. So thank you. Let's jump over to the config. Okay, we are running 1.11 in this example. We're gonna jump in our plugins folder here. You can see we have essentials, essentials chat and essentials spawn. We're gonna jump into our essentials folder. Now, if you don't have Notepad++, I would highly recommend it at this point because this config file is going to be a lot easier to read. So the config file is huge. So we're just going to kind of hit a few things because we're going to go more in depth of other things 
um, in the other tutorials, but if you don't want your ops to change the color their, of their name, you want to set this to none, so it won't do that. And then uh, nicknames will automatically be set with a prefix of tilde. You can change that in here. Here's some more uh, chat stuff that we'll go over in the chat plugin. So you have, or a chat tutorial. So you have a teleport cooldown, a teleport delay, which is fantastic. Um, you can set all of that stuff in there. Some other, if your essentials conflicts with another plugin that has a command, essentials will automatically give up control of that command to the other plugin unless you specify it in here so that essentials will retain control. So if you have any conflicting, you can play with the overridden commands or disabled commands in here. So you could just flat out disable a command for essentials in here. So you don't want anybody to have Nick or clear. You can add that to that list. Here's some social spy commands. So if you have social spy on so that you can see what other players are messaging back and forth, um, this is all the options that will show up um, in your list. You can also add some more commands to when you mute players so that they can't do any other kind of other plugins to really be annoying when they should be being muted. So this player commands, you don't really have to pay attention to if you're using permissions X or group manager, which I'd highly recommend that you use permissions X. Um, if you are not, then you're going to want to use this um, to really modify what players have access to uh, or not have access to. Here's the kit section. We're going to talk about that in the kit one. Here's some signs. You can enable and disable signs in here. So you're probably going to want to enable some of these signs um, just for the fun of it and spawn mob. And then you have to save and reload essentials every time. And then we have unprotected sign names. Um, so per, per warp permission, so talking about warps here in another tutorial, but the first thing you want to do is enable that to be true, and then you can really restrict what warps people get access to. So the slash list command shows up in here. You can really group um, users when they do the slash list to see who's all on your server, and it'll group them based upon what you put in here. You have your AFK commands. It'll automatically go AFK after, I think that's five minutes, but they have to have this permission node, essentials.afk.auto. There's a whole lot of permission nodes that you probably should set up right out of the box. Go ahead and check the link in the jibbles for the, uh, the grand permissions list and kind of like go through there and pick and choose and give those to your default group. You can also turn on silent joining with the custom join message, custom custom quit message in here as well um, so that anybody who has essentials.silent join will not be announced when they join the server which is pretty slick now when you start making some um, op prisons or anything where you need more than the default uh, enchantment level you're going to set this to true in order to do that so especially for the kits it won't let you do any kind of unsafe enchantments until you set this to true here's the economy section you can change the starting balance you can actually also put in here and charge for certain commands so the kit hyphen tools will charge players to run that command which is pretty slick you can do that for any plugin that out there so if you're running another plugin you want to charge them for running those commands like a home or a townie home or whatever i think that one actually is built in but uh, you can charge them for doing those um, commands you also have a currency symbol you can change in here you have a max money minimum money you can have a minimum pay amount in here so if you don't want people to have cents at all you just put a one in there and then they can't do any kind of less than one dollar you can disable the help commands or essential showing all the other plugins that you have. Here's your chat, which we'll go over in the chat and messaging. Here's protect, essentials protect. You can disable and enable. If you have that essentials protect jar, you can enable and disable a lot of different parts of your of essentials in here. Here's essentials anti-build. Now this is the last bit you can customize when a new player joins your server, they'll get an announce, it'll announce it to the whole server and then it'll teleport them to this warp. So if you set the spawn newbies, they will be warped right to there or the uh, warp there, or you can change it to whatever, or you can just set it to none and that'll be to the spawn of that world. And then you can also give them a default kit right when they join. Otherwise you can just put in uh, two quotes here and then they won't. That's about it for the config. All right, so you can see that we got a whole lot of stuff that shows up every time we join. We have the slash help 
command, and then we have the slash list command, which is going to show all the players that are there and what worlds they're in, which is really slick, and how many players are online and the world time, all that stuff. If you have mail, you can enable and disable mail notifications in the config. But like I said, this was just to get you up and running on the general essentials. We'll go in depth into kit, kits, warps, uh, chat formatting, and the admin moderator stuff in other tutorials. So go ahead and check those out. Links down below. This is Cosmo. I need you guys all enjoy the game. God bless.